Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective, and today we have an interesting comparison to do between these two laptops, so let's get right into it. So what we have here is actually two machines that were built three years apart, and they are very, very different. We have one over here, the Lenovo IdeaPad 11480A05, which was built December 14th, 2020. And then we have the Lenovo ThinkPad E14 Gen 4, which was built in May 2023. Now, what makes these machines interesting, and the only reason that we are comparing them, is because if you were to buy them used, you can get them around the same price if you know where to shop. We are going to compare these two side by side, not on specifications, but on very uh, specific criteria that I think really highlight the more nuanced differences. I am under no illusion that a machine that is built three years later is going to have better CPU, all of that good stuff. We're not really diving into that. What we're diving into are some of the fundamentals. The first thing that we need to acknowledge is that the Lenovo IdeaPad has five ports. The ThinkPad E14 has six ports, seven if you include the Kensington lock slot. And one of the big things about these ports that we need to get out of the way right now is the IdeaPad, unfortunately, is using a barrel plug charger. There is no USB Type-C port and no USB Type-C charging. Conversely, on the E14, we do have USB charging through a Thunderbolt 4 port. In terms of USB ports, the IdeaPad has two USB 3.2 Gen 1s, whereas the E14 has one USB 3.2 Gen 1 and then one USB 2.0. Both have HDMI, the IdeaPad has a micro SD card slot, and then both machines have a headphone microphone combo jack. The E14 also has the Ethernet port and the Kensington lock slot. It's also worth noting that the IdeaPad charges at 45 watts, whereas the E14 charges at 65. Let's go a little bit further in. The IdeaPad only has four gigabytes of soldered RAM, whereas on the E14, we have some soldered RAM, eight gigs, and then one slot available, maximum of 40 gigs. So you can have 10 times the RAM in the E14 than the IdeaPad 1. Next thing we have to move on to is battery size. The IdeaPad 1 only has a 35 watt hour battery, whereas the E14 can come with a 45 or 57 watt hour battery. Again, no real competition. The IdeaPad has no backlight keyboard option. The E14 does have a backlight keyboard option. The E14 also has options for things like the fingerprint reader, the Windows Hello IR camera, and since we're talking about cameras, 720p or 1080, 0.3 megapixels on the IdeaPad. Build construction is actually relatively close with both of them coming with a PC ABS bottom, although you can get the E14 with a aluminum bottom or aluminum bottom, but all of the E14s will have a aluminum or aluminum top case. And since we're up there talking about the top case, we need to talk about these displays. So the IdeaPad 1, believe it or not, you could get this in a 1366 by 768 TN panel 220 nit. That's kind of like from the dark ages. And then you had a 1920 by 1080 TN panel, Y, uh, at 220 nits, and then finally a 1920 by 1080 IPS 250 nit panel. Contrast ratios were not available on the PS ref for those. Switching over to the E14, the worst panel that we can get is a TN 1920 by 1080 250 nit 500 to 1 contrast ratio. And then we have an IPS 300 uh, nit, 800 to 1. You can get that in touch. And then an IPS 300, uh, 1200 to 1 contrast ratio. So pretty much in every measurable way, the displays are also better on the E14 as well. The real reason to make this comparison is strictly for the used market. If you had to buy both of these things brand new, that's a very different contest. The IdeaPad, of course, would be significantly cheaper. However, I found an idea pad open box online right now for about 249 uh, on Amazon, whereas some of the cheaper uh, configurations, but still better than this, uh, that I found on eBay for the E14 Gen 4 were 280 and up. 
So that's a very close price bracket if you are able to pick up those deals. But I just kind of wanted to show one of the reasons why ThinkPads generally are one of the best bangs for your buck for a used laptop, just because, well, first off, you can even find them. I only found like two listings for an IdeaPad 1. If you go on eBay, I was unable to find any that would ship to my address, whereas E14's no problem. I suspect that a lot of these IdeaPads, regrettably, uh, go right back into the recycle economy. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you appreciate this really quick look at an IdeaPad versus a ThinkPad. Even when they're the same price, you're not getting the same product. If you have any questions or if you have your own experiences with idea pads versus think pads, leave them in the description down below. Love to hear more. And uh, as you can see, when that screen goes dark, we even have a pressure line, which this one does not. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.